time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live September 26th on a Tuesday Hope everyone is well. The bleeding continues. S&P down 67, NASDAQ down 235, Russell down 19, Dow down 429. Gold and silver lower by a percent. Notes and bonds a little bit lower. Oil and natty gas a little bit higher. Grains pretty flat, euro and the pound a little bit lower, Bitcoin a little bit lower, and VIX up almost 12%, approaching 19. I uh, took the AM ratio quick exit today, that was a winner. Took the DKS, that was the winner. And that's all I took. Actually, I did. Uh, I did do some discretionary JSPs in uh, right around here, and was a, about a tick away from hitting my profit target and rolled over. I ended up scratching them or booking a little profit. But that's about it for zero DTE for today. So up a couple of K coming into power hour. Buy some longs. I'll just buy some calls. Recycle my puts from this morning. It's like we're going to have a little five wide strangle for tranche one. This holds here will be the 4275, 4270s. Currently at new lows of day. All right, 75, 70s, trying to get 820. Filled at 820 for tranche one. So right before we came on here, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my uh, NDX calendar. VIX up 12%. Don't really want to add another calendar here. So the options are you could close it. I'd be taking a small loss. I was also looking at adjusting with a butterfly. Broken wing butterfly, which I think I may do. I've got three contracts on the NDX calendar and I'm only doing one fly. So depending on your position size, you may not be able to do this exact thing, but <clears throat> kind of flattens out the T-zero line, gives you the 
a little bit more time. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, get it out of the way. Build right away. Post that in the We get a big bounce tomorrow. I wish I hadn't done this, but got to protect the downside here, in my opinion. All right, just, uh, just posted that in the calendar channel channel. Got a two three on that went in the red. Also, the one two that I put on this morning went into the red a little bit. So we'll get a little bounce back tomorrow for those to profit. Also, took off a time fly earlier that the one that we entered <clears throat> as a package with the calendar and the fly. Took that off, hit profit target. This one is not a profit target, but it's up a few hundred, it looks like, or it's up a little bit. Put on a new duck today in SPX. We've got a duck in the queues that is hovering around our exit point. Sold some premium in IWM. Added another VIX, VXX vertical. VIX over 19. My, how things can change quickly, my friends. We were at 12.68 in VIX, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trading sessions ago. Like the IV percentile on the yearly indicator is just now approaching 50. So we to get that thing up to the highest volatility we've seen in a year, we're going to have to see some more serious downside. So at the beginning of the year, I marked the expected move on my chart for the year to the upside. It was around 4680-ish. We got all the way up to about 46, so 
five. And we've kind of rolled over since then. Expected move on the lower end was close to 3,000. Needed to get out of the office today on a beautiful 74 degree day. So I walked uh, about six blocks to this area we call the River Market. It's all kinds of uh, restaurants and kind of your normal food market, outdoor market. Stopped by KC Taco Company and had some delicious lobster tacos on a Taco Tuesday. So there's your lunch update that I know you guys are always interested in. Oh yeah, Lando, you're just talking about Casey Taco Company. Yeah, lobster tacos, they were good. Good, good, good. Definitely gonna have to go back and retry those again. Make sure they were as good as I remember. Ooh, scratch quesadillas. I got to do some quesadillas on the Blackstone. That's a good idea. I haven't tried that yet. My brother was telling me he made some smash burger tacos on the Blackstone. Where you basically put a tortilla down. Oh, no, you put, you put the burger down, smash it. Sprinkle some cheese on it, throw the tortilla on top of that. Let that cook, flip it over, toast the other side a little bit, and then put your stuff in the taco. Mmm, sounds good, Wooga. All right, catching a little tiny bounce off the 42.70 and a half level. Oh, never come into power hour on an empty stomach, Wooga. Lesson number one about power hour. Yep, I'm on the 75.70s on my strikes. Oh, yeah, that's true. I got filled at 820. Eight twenty. Forty percent would be about four ninety. So if we get to four ninety, I'll reduce my stop for tranche one.
That's one currently trading at about 710. Getting a little decay coming in. How'd everybody else do today? I saw a couple of people ended up jumping in some ducks. Didn't too big of a gap down for me, so I didn't get in. Gap ended up being 0.57, so not too much over that 0.5, but I passed on the duck and the, well, the JSPs never would have qualified either. Quiet Lunch didn't qualify. PM Iron Condor didn't qualify. Did you guys escape the duck stop out? Never did it. Mark the expected move on my chart here. Let's see, it was 27 to start the day. So 09, 36 to the upside. So we're a little above the expected move to the downside. Tranche two in about five minutes. like the 80 70s maybe Buying some longs for tranche two.
All right, a few minutes here before tranche two. If it holds here, it looks like the 80s and 70s, 10 points wide. Yeah, yesterday was a good power hour. Got stopped out of so it, tranche one and tranche three were essentially almost ma you know max winners when you take them off at five minutes, pretty close. Tranche two got stopped out in about two minutes after we entered. <laughs> Yeah, the old B pop slap dip got that one. All right, eighties, seventies, tranche two. Tranche two, ten wide. Eighties, seventies. Because I don't have my right template set up. Trying to get five ten. Filled at five twenty for tranche two. Yeah, that last five minute bar J trade it ran ran pretty quick. So getting out at five minutes till the bell was the perfect for yesterday. Yeah, that'll that'll tend to hurt your feelings when it just ripped your heart out like that at the last minute. But there, you know, there are no feelings in trading. Just like there's no crying in baseball, feelings don't matter in trading. <laughs> At a boy. All right, tranche one's trading at 680. I'm looking for 490. Tranche two, I got filled at 520. So I'll be looking for 310 to reduce my stop on tranche two. Oh. 
new fresh lows on the day, 4270. Hey, Nick, welcome. Glad to have you. Um, yeah, so I always enter the longs first, just so I have that buying power reduction already in place. And then I just, uh, from that point on, I use the order templates in TOS. So I don't know if you use TOS or what broker you use, but if you use TOS, you can check out the, uh, um, in the course zero DTE course channel, there's some, a video and some examples of the order templates. And so once I have the longs on, as soon as it's time to enter the actual trade, I just enter the shorts along with the OCO orders with that includes the stop and the profit target and the profit target set at like 90%. And that's really just there so that when it gets time to close the trade, it's easy to have that limit order there to kind of adjust to, to get filled as you'll see towards the end of the day here. And there are no silly questions, Nick. So ask away. And that goes for anybody. If, if there's anybody new here, we just, you know, once we get in a trade, there's a lot of downtime. So we just kind of chit chat, but if there's any real questions or real things you want to talk about, feel free to post. Yeah, I always recycle the longs if they're available. Like today, I had some, uh, I already had my put, like these long these long calls down here at the 4,400 strike, that, that's a little bit far away. They weren't going to really give me much. So I bought 10 new longs for the um, tranche one. But on the put side, I already had 12 puts that were close enough that they would already give me the relief. So when I got into tranche one, I didn't even buy any longs because I already had them from earlier. So yeah, anytime we can recycle, we are very environmental friendly around here. We like to recycle. Forty two sixty eight new lows on the day. Five minutes until tranche three. And then Nick, I think you probably understand this, but then, you know, from that, <clears throat> from that point on the longs are pretty much worthless. So we just let those expire. Yeah. You'll never get filled because those, once they have zero bid, a stop won't fill and your limit order won't fill if there's, if there's no bid. So yeah, just, just got to manage those shorts. See, if you look at the longs that I bought for both tranche one and tranche two, they're both zero bid at this point. So those are definitely don't want to be trying to fill an order that includes those longs. They're, they're too far out of the money at this point. That is why you paper trade, my friend. That is why you paper trade. Get those mistakes out of the way. Nice. Love to see the light bulb moments. Many more to come, hopefully.
<clears throat> All right, tranche three coming up. I'm going to buy some more longs for tranche three. So what I do is I go out and buy the five cent longs. Sometimes I'll buy the 10 cent longs on the put side, but these five cents are close enough that might as well pay less. All right, so I got filled on the longs for 10 cents. So now I just, when I enter the order, I'll enter it, just the shorts. And the shorts for tranche three, looking for the closest to two bucks. So it looks like it's going to be the 75 65s. Give it another minute. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's very true, Trader Bianca. Don't you worry. You're not gonna you're not gonna get all the mistakes out of the way with paper trading. But if you can get a bunch of them out of the way, that's a big deal. and peas down a cool 71 fitty. Puts are right between the 65s or 60s. Go with the, looks like the 7560s, lower premium, but wider. It's the closest to. Tranche 3, 15 wide. Trying to get filled at 255. Filled at 255 for tranche three. 75, 60s. Nick, what do you mean they don't handle option expiration properly? By the way, I would be a little cautious of using Tradier for zero DTE. They don't have their OCO order set up yet. They're working on it, but. My tranche one stop is at 12.20, trading at 6.60. Tranche two stops at 8.20, trading at a little under six bucks. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't let, the only thing I've really traded on trade here is butterflies and calendars, and I never let those expire. So I haven't experienced, I don't have any experience in that with them, but. But if you buy a 
if you buy an option for five cents, I mean, you can't, can't lose more than five cents. So not sure what the deal is there. What kind of program is it? Is it like a Python based program or I've been using trade Hawk, by the way, if you, if you haven't heard, I've, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but, um, and we'll be, we'll be posting more details about it, but <clears throat> we've got a, uh, a web class on October 12th, Thursday, October 12th, after the market closes. So three thirty central with, uh, Lex, who's the creator of trade Hawk. So trade Hawk and trade ear will be doing a, little webinar with them. That's cool, Nick. I'd love to, once you kind of get that all good to go, or maybe it is, would love to, love to hear or see more about it. VIX up to 1940. Look at that little VIX go. IV percentile on VIX reaching the 93 level. Oh, okay. That's cool. So it is it automated like it's it's actually entering the orders based on the option omega time or okay nice Tranche one is trading at 625. I'm looking for 490. Tranche two is trading at 512. I'm looking for 310 to reduce my stop. We are just above 4,500 in SPX a little over a week ago. Now we're at 4,270. How about that? Need another buck to come out of tranche one to reduce my stop. A little over a buck and a half to come out of tranche two. Yeah, I think SPX heard us, heard us screaming for some premium, a zero DTE ears. So oh, you want some premium, do you? Boom.
There you go. Although five wide and tranche one is nothing. As we as we that were trading last year know. A little more of a bounce should get us down to uh, 490 on tranche one. Those are the 70, 75 strikes. So if we get up to 72, should get us down to that 490. If tranche three is in decent position, I'm going to, I'm going to let it go to expiration. So if it's fairly centered, I'm going to play the expiration game on that one. That was part of my, part of my trade plan for the month. If, it was a strangle, and if it was fairly strength, fairly centered, I could use my discretion to take it off five minutes to the bell or let it go. So, haven't even I haven't done it once this month. So maybe today's the day. Yeah, yesterday would not have been a good one with that last little five minute bar rally. But today's a new day, Elliot. What do you mean you can't believe it? You do it all the time. <laughs> I mean, the back test shows that you're, you know, over many occurrences, you're better off letting it expire. I don't think we need to go much lower here, Mr. SPX. You, you put in a nice low of the day. <laughs> Cooking quesadillas during power hour? What? You are a multitasking fool. <laughs> good call Meech. bring out the good stuff for the uh for the dipping sauce but stick with the paper plates <laughs> we got broke out the expensive china for the salsa
All right, where are we at here? <clears throat> Tranche one is at a little over five bucks. Oh, that's close. So it gets down to 490. I'll change my stop to 790. Little tiny bounce will get us there. Four ninety five. Four eighty five, right there it is. Changing my stop to seven ninety on tranche one. All right. Tranche number two. I need three ten. It's currently trading at three ninety. That's the uh, 70, 80 strike. So yeah, a little bounce up to about 75. Well, we don't even have to bounce that high, but 75 is a good number. 73. Forty two seventy three. I mean, it just it just rolls off your tongue really nicely. All right, tranche two down to 380. I need 310. A little more bounce will get there. If it gets down to 310, I change my stop to 510. <clears throat> Saw so three forty five. Three forty. 330, 315, 305. There we go. Changing my stop on tranche two to 510. Shush your mouth, Anil. 
talk that rubbish. 4273, I think is what you meant to say. Yeah, I like the old stop reduction. I like the uh, I like the fixed stops. You know, the first month I used them in August, I this is just from memory, but I think I may have been saved by a fixed stop versus a trailing stop. I only remember one day, but September, it's uh, saved me quite a few times. I'm getting stopped out just from <clears throat> those those of you who use trailing stops posting that you got stopped. I got saved. So I'm, I like the fixed stops, but I also like the at uh, 40% being able to reduce those. Takes a little takes a little of the edge off. Tranche one is trading around four bucks. Tranche three is trading at 230. We're approaching the upper strike of tranche three. Tranche two is trading down to 250. Fifteen minutes till the bell. Ten minutes until I close at least part of my position. I mean, tranche two is ten wide. So that one could be a possibility as well. We'll see where we shake out here in the next ten minutes. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. I got an Apple watch on. I'm going to do that right now. Let's see. How do I do that? Oh, there's a heart button. I bet that has something to do with it. Okay. So my heart rate currently, oh, it's measuring. I'm at 96 beats per minute right now. 93. 79. Is that, is that real? Seems a little low. 81. That's on at 76. And Neil, what are you, are you like walk pacing? Let's 
72, 73 is where I'm at. Look at Dick K at 68 coming in. Just a pinnacle of health. the machine does he even have a heartbeat he just has like chips pushing blood through his streams Oh, I just jumped up to 87. What about how fast you can go from low to high? Is that good? Is that a good metric? Now, if I could just keep it on without having to tap it every two minutes. All right. A little over 10 minutes until the bell. Ooh, I love Utah. Park City. Used to go there. Every, I went there every year for about 12 years straight skiing. Didn't go last year. Deer Valley. That's, that's my favorite. All right, getting a little down move. We need to pop back up above that 4270 would be ideal <clears throat> here in the next five minutes. Although my trunch three is 75 to 60. So looks like the one I'm going to be leaving on. Oh boy, my heart rate just jumped up to 92. It's getting crazy. About to get wild. <laughs> Start talking about leaving it on it. My heart rate jumped. <laughs> Let's see. Where's my bids at here? 20, 30. Oh, yeah. Got some bids. 4260 is getting down there. All right, so I'm definitely taking off tranche one. Go ahead and put that tranche one at 2.30 for now.
I'm still at a nice 80 beats per minute. It's going to have to come down here in the next couple minutes for me to leave tranche three on, but maybe I go with tranche two, which is the 70, 80. Tranche one orders at 230. It's currently trading at 260. I'm gonna kick tranche uh, one up to two fifty. Try to get filled on that one. All right, filled at two forty five for tranche one. Now, what to do here? Tranche three is not. It'd have to come down. It's just sitting at the upper upper strike. So I'm gonna take off tranche three as well. Trying to get filled at a buck twenty-five. Partial fill at a dollar twenty. All right, filled at a buck twenty-five on tranche three. So tranche two is going to the bell, boys and girls. Let's go. It's trading at 80 cents. I'm going to keep my limit. I'm going to put my limit at 10 cents. How about that? <laughs> Just in case I need to wiggle out. Three and a half minutes. Heart rate at a cool 79 BPM. Down to 55 cents.
two and a half minutes. Heart rate 94, 91. This isn't giving me much of a, <laughs> it hasn't moved. So that's okay on the old heart. Thirty five cents. Better bring this, to, I'm bring it down to five cents. I don't think that'll even fill. Let's see. Yeah, I thought that was right, Decay. 10 cents is minimum. Uh oh, what just got rejected? Oh, that's why. Because 10 cents a minimum. All right, well, I just got to stop now. One minute to go. Heart rate 79. I mean, I don't know what the big deal is, uh, Elliot. This thing hasn't moved. Isn't, isn't this how it works every time? Eighty-three. Five, four. Three, two, one, blast off. Beautiful. And that was on my uh, biggest tranche too. Even better. So that was good for, that tranche alone was good for 8,320. Let's see, I may have, I may have set a new record for myself for power hour here today, my friends. So let's see, tranche one got in at 820, out at 245. 820 minus 245. So tranche one is good for 5,750. Yeah, I think I hit a new record here. And then tranche three. Got in at 255, out at 125, we'll call it. 255 minus times 14. It's good for 1820 plus 5750. Plus eight three twenty. Total take today on power hour fifteen thousand eight ninety. I don't I don't know if that's a record or not. I can't remember. I can't remember. I know this is, I know I've had some four I think I had a sixteen thousand one. Yeah, I think I've had a sixteen something, but I think this is top three. Sweet. Love it. Yeah, less the longs, of course. Yep. So that'll settle out. So call it 15,000. All right, my friends, good stuff. Yeah, was it 18 decay? I don't know. That might be right. Anyway, good, good. All right, so tomorrow is the 27th. All right, so we'll be streaming live, zero DTE at the open. And then we'll be back for power hour. So both uh, both times tomorrow.
All right, my friends, have a good day. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.